Hey guys, we're back with another leak code video. Today we're gonna to be doing problem number 1568, minimum number of days to disconnect island. So we're given a 2D grid consisting of ones, which is land, and zeros, which is water. An island is a maximum four directionally horizontal or vertical, so not the corners, right? Four directions, up, down, not like this, not like this, whatever. The grid is said to be connected if we exact if we have exactly one island, otherwise it is is Otherwise, is said disconnected? What? In one day, we are allowed to change any single land cell I into a water cell land cell one. Whoa, what am I reading? Into a water cell zero. Return the minimum number of days to disconnect the grid. Okay, so we have an example. We have this grid, we have water over here, which is all zeros. And we have this ones over here, which is uh, land. And we need to, every step, every day, we can remove um, one uh one one yeah we can move one one we could move one uh piece of the land so um the first day we, we take this one and we turn it into a zero the next day we take this one and we turn it into a zero and then we have two uh disconnected islands there there the corners don't count remember it's four directions top down left right and so this is an, a separate island and this is a separate island and that took uh, two days, so we need at least two days to get a disconnected grid. We first change land grid one one and then grid zero two to water and get two disconnected islands. Okay, great. So now we have this problem. I, we need to find the minimum number of uh, days. So we can't start uh, trying out all the possibilities and start moving all the lands one by one, maybe this one and that one, and check every time whether we have disconnected grid each time. We can't do that. Right, that, that would be super complicated. That's a brute force solution. Uh, it's obviously it doesn't make sense. It's not the approach to take. So now let's take a step back and think. There's no way that they want us to act, they look for all the possible solutions. That's, that's, not, that's not the proper approach. So there needs to be an upper bound. There needs to be a maximum uh, number of days uh, that it, uh, something needs to take. Right? So that was my thinking. Okay, and so, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't, I, because I, 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 when I started this problem, my thinking was wrong, and so I went down the whole wrong approach, and I'll explain what, where I went wrong right now. So, I'm thinking now, okay, so an island has at max four sides as a top, the bottom, the left, and the right. If we had one single block, one single piece, one, one, and it had no top, no down, no left, no right. That would be its own island. So what I thought was that, okay, at most we could have an island like that. Where we'll have an island and it'll be connected from the top. It'll be connected from the bottom, left, and the right. And it'll take us four days to remove each one. First day we move the top, then the left, left and the bottom, then the right. And then that will be its own separate Island. So that's the max, right? The max upper bound would be four. That was my thinking. That's obviously the wrong thinking, and I'll explain why. So then we could start working from that, and I figured I'd start working with that, and I'd go down that approach and try to figure out four, three, two, one. I could handle four cases and figure that out. Or oh, five cases, because in the case where we already have um, an empty island. That was wrong. Because, and I'll explain why, but the reason I kind of went down the approach was because I didn't draw it down. I was thinking of it in my head. And that's why I think it's important to sometimes uh, write stuff down or draw stuff down. Because when you do that, you'll see uh, errors with your own approach sometimes. So if, if, you, if I started drawing this down, right, well, what I was thinking was this, okay? What I was thinking was this. So I had this grid. I have uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And the maximum could be a one, and it could be surrounded by four other island, four other pieces of land, right? And so I was thinking, okay, this could be the worst possible scenario, and now I would need to make this one an island because it's connected from top down, left and right, and so I'd have to take one day to make this a zero, and next, third day, and then finally four days. And that would take four days, so the maximum is four days. That's completely wrong, because once, once you start writing it down, you notice, that well, to have an island like this, you need to have an island, um, uh, to, uh, to have a piece of land like this, well, you, you need to have pieces of land connected to it. 
right? And if you look, these pieces of land only have one item connected to it. And so that means that all I needed to do was remove this one and this could have been an island. And so now I kind of started thinking of it differently. You have to start thinking of it differently. And so now you have to think of what are the possible cases um, uh, where, uh, where, uh, where the piece of land could be located. Well, we said one already, which is four. The next one, well, if there's always, if there's four, well, then there always has to be one, or there could have been something like this, right? Where a piece of land could have, uh, could have had, um, let's see, which one has three surrounding it? Um, let's say something like this, forgive me. Something like that, right? And so now you see this one over here, it could have had three surrounding it. No, that's not three. Blah. Okay, let's do it like this actually. This one over here now has three surrounding it. So a piece of land could have either three surrounding it, or it could have four surrounding as we showed already, or in this case, on um, let's say this um, one over here. Now it could have two surrounding it, or over here it could have one surrounding it, or it could have zero surrounding it. Well, if, it, what, if a piece of land has four surrounding it, that means it, there always has to be either one that has uh, two surrounding it or one surrounding it. Because, let's take a step back. Okay, I think I'm taking this the wrong approach. Well, let's say we had a fully uh, um, filled up piece of land right here. Right? What's the most filled up piece of land you could think of? Well, it's just all ones. Right? We see we have all ones. Well... I, now, what are the possible cases? Well, this one has three surrounding it, and this one has four surrounding it, right? Oh, uh, this one has two surrounding it, sorry. And this one has three surrounding it, this one has four surrounding it. Well, I don't need to remove the four, I can remove the, th I don't need to remove the three. The best one I can do is when I remove the one that has only two surrounding it, right? So there's always going to, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is there's always going to be a corner case. There's always going to be a piece of land that is kind of on the corner, at worst case. At the worst possible case, there's always going to be a piece of land that is on a corner, and you could just remove two of the sides, and it'll, it'll, it'll uh, be an empty land. So this is a corner, I can remove two of these, I can remove this one, and I can remove this one, and I'll have an empty piece of land right there. That's the worst possible case. It can't get any worse than that. Because if you were to try to make it three, Right, uh, let's just say something like that. That's three. That's three surrounding it. Well, if one has three surrounding it, well, there has to be another one that only has less than three surrounding it. In this case, two. In this case, one. Uh, one. Right, and the same thing with four. There has to be one that either has three surrounding it or two surrounding it or whatever. Well, two surrounding it. And so from there, we can do so that the most um, number of days, the cap is always two. Right, and you can look at the examples too. The cap is always two, it never goes more than two. So the cap of the number of days is two. So now we can either, we can move two, it will take us two days, or it would take us only one day, where we have something like this, and we just move this one, and we get, turn this into zero, and we have two uh, lands, two islands. Or it would take us zero days where we already have an island. So that's the basic gist of it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna check, do we have an island already? If we have an island already, then, uh, yes, uh, we'll just return zero, okay, because we already have an island. Then we'll try to remove an island at every single uh, land, piece of land there is. We'll try to move, sorry, not remove an island. We'll try to move a piece of land from all the possible pieces of land and then check if there, an island is formed each time. If there is, then we'll return one. Instead, If we removed one at every possible location and we still haven't, uh, had two islands, then we just end up returning two because we know the max is going to be two. So we'll say, we'll try with zero. We'll see if we didn't need to remove anything and then we'll turn zero. Then we'll try removing one, we'll check everything, right? And then we'll return one. And in that case, we don't need to check removing two or three or four because we know the cap is two. So we'll just return two. So once again, so from there, we can kind of call the solution. We know there's only three possible choices. And so choice one, we already have two islands. So I have this helper function called is multiple islands is down here. So it's set to false. There's not multiple islands. I create a visited um, array. Then I go through the entire matrix. 
every time I see a grid that's one and it hasn't been visited yet, right? If it's one and hasn't been visited yet, well then we'll start visiting. First thing I'll do is I'll check if, it's, uh, if I already saw one before, right? Then I'll return true because that means that we had two. If we didn't, okay, then I'll say, okay, I just saw one. I'll set is multiple to true. That's not really the proper name, but whatever. We call it saw one. And then I'll say, okay, fine. Now I want to, I want to visit that entire island. So I'll mark island and I'll uh, depth for search, symbol depth for search, top, left, right, bottom. I'll visit all of them. If I go out of range, I'll just break and I'll set each one to visit it. So then we'll keep going again and again. And at some point, if I hit another island that I haven't visited yet, right? If another piece of land that I haven't visited yet and, multi and is multiple true, meaning I saw one already, then I'll just return true. And if, if, I, if, I, if I haven't seen another piece of land in all this time, then I'll just return false. So I go through the entire grid. I'll remove an island. I'll check now if we have multiple islands, then I'll return one. If not, then I'll add it back and I'll try another one. If all of those failed, then I just need to remove two, which is probably a corner case. And that will be, or a side, I guess you kind of say it would be a side too. And um, actually, no, it would just be a corner. And then I'll return two. And that's the basic um, problem. The main thing is trying to understand um, that the upper bound is two, right? I made the mistake of thinking the upper bound was four, which is completely incorrect. The main thing is understanding that the upper bound is two. Hope that guy that helped. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And if it didn't help, well, try not to dislike. But I guess just comment um, and let me know how I can improve and where I made mistakes. Yep.